I can tell you. Uh, the book, um, Terry started writing the book probably about two years ago, and he wrote it like a huge literary jigsaw uh, and pieced all of the bits together. That's how Terry always wrote the books, and it obviously became harder as the, as the years and the months went on, but with a fantastic editorial team, uh, Terry uh, was able to finish the book last summer. So uh, I'm going to name a few people right now and, uh, and probably um, embarrass them. But I would, I would like to thank P. Diddy herself, Philippa Dickinson, Terry's fine editor, uh, who's already in a lovely comfy hotel in Manchester, ready for BBC breakfast in the morning. So, damn it. But anyway, Sue Cook, who did a marvellous, marvellous job. Thank you. Uh, Marianne Vellmans, as always, we are not worthy. So much, <laughs> Susan Britton, who is here somewhere. Thank you again for everything you do, Lindsay. Thank you as always, Alice Broderick, and your wonderful PR team. Thank you so much for everything you do, Jennifer Braille in the States. Now, at this point, a quick um, story. A few years ago, uh, probably talking about some piece of motorbike or Star Wars figure, um, I was halfway through a sentence and Terry said, can I stop you there? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, what's that big telescope called up in, up in space? And I said, well, Terry, it's the, it's the Hubble Space Telescope. And he went, yeah, 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 yeah. And one of those microscopes, you know the really powerful ones? I said, oh, what, a scanning electron microscope? And he said, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, well, if you've got the Hubble Space Telescope and you've bolted it, to a scanning electron microscope, and you look through it, you would not find one grain of interest in what you have just heard. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. <laughs> and using that same method, I have tried very hard to find an ego in Kirsten Armstrong, who is here somewhere, and I cannot find one, and I don't believe one exists. So. Before I do anything else, please indulge me for a moment. Kirsten, please come forward. I keep saying without all the light. And uh, Lindsay, I think you have a thing somewhere. Aha, there we go. There we go. I'm going to rip the packaging off it in a very unelegant way. I'll throw that down. Kirsten, for everything you've done, thank you so much. And there is your very own Shepherd's Crew. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Um, I also need to thank, we've got an amazing team around us and, and uh, uh, an evening like this wouldn't be complete without thanking our wonderful lawyer. So I would like to thank <laughs> Jer Jeremy Morton. I would like to thank Nikolai. I'd like to thank Michelle Potter and Kostya who do a wonderful job of keeping us all in order. I'd also like to thank Samir and Mark, our esteemed accountants, and Kevin O'Malley, our bank manager of Coots who knows where all the bodies are buried. Um, very, very quickly, the most important people I need to thank are you, the fans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to name but a few people, um, I'd like to go back to, all the way to the very beginning and thank the AFP community. I posted only once. I tagged the post wrong. Uh, they, they all jumped on me and I buggered off. Um, I, would, I would like to thank Bernard, Isabel Pearson and everybody at the Discworld Emporium to Ian and Red. Thank you so much. I need to thank Elizabeth Allway for uh, the Guild of Fans and Disciples and unfortunately Elizabeth, she's, um, she's not feeling that great at the moment. She can't be here but she, w without her, um, I can't, what was the, me uh, the, the motto of the Guild of Fans and Disciples basically translated into we're not all on the net. And I mean, you think how far we've come since then. Thank you for 1994. So thank you, Elizabeth. I'd like to thank Steve Dean and his prestigious wizard's knob. And I'd, <laughs> and I'd like to thank the man who was once rude and is now Mr. Paul Kruzicki, wherever, wherever you are. Who, over there, there he is. Hello. And then his wonderful wife, Karen. Um, Paul was the creator and the founder of the first Discworld convention. He really formalised Discworld fandom, which brings me on to wanting to thank Jason Anthony and everybody at Discworld. Yeah. Hey. And please, everybody, let me hear, I'm going to say it here first. No more schisms. Everybody hug and love and think <laughs> of Terry, OK? Please, please do that. Um, so the final Discworld novel, 
but not necessarily the final Discworld project. So, Mr. Stephen Briggs and Mr. Paul Kidby involved in top secret things I can't possibly talk about, so I won't talk about them. The next thing on my note is to announce here and now that 2016, the Discworld year of the sneezing panda. Okay. Next, you heard it here first. Okay. <laughs> Just a couple, please indulge me just for a couple more minutes. Um, I need, uh, oh yeah, right, okay, the 12th of March. Um, yeah, I wasn't gonna get upset. The 12th of March, okay. Um, Terry is gone and uh, we, uh, Rihanna and myself were sitting in the kitchen and uh, we put the final tweets out. And six minutes later, Lynn came into the kitchen and said, Dad's on the telly. And we went through and uh, the world just came into the house and it, it was just, I've never experienced anything like it, I never want to experience anything like it again. At that point, you need the support of really, really, really good people around you. And to Susie and to Alex, who basically looked after us and kept the show on the road at that most difficult time, I thank you. So thank you very much. They are wonderful and lovely. So thank you very much. There really are only a couple more people. I'd like to thank Louis, I want to thank Joe, I want to thank Sam, and I want to thank Josh. And I keep saying without whom, but there's one person here who really, without whom, I couldn't do what I do. And if I can't do it, that means Terry can't do it. If I, can't, if I couldn't do it, Terry couldn't have done it. And Sandra, thank you. Oh, right, thank you. I also, right, Rihanna, um, who has, um, uh, I am honorary big brother, thank you uh, for, to her, who, talking about no, no more Discworld projects, tonight is actually working uh, on yet another edit of her We Free Men script. Is it going to happen? Yes, of course it's going to happen. So, thank you. <laughs> and to Lynn, of course. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and I've written here, tonight is not for mourning, it's for celebrating Terry, and it feels so difficult not to feel the way that we do about him and how wonderful his writing was. So, we oh, I can't help but mourn Terry, but more than mourning Terry tonight, I mourn the loss of the characters and those stories that we now will not know. Uh, Carrot and Angua's wedding, <laughs> <laughs> Moist on Litvig as Patrician, and... <laughs> And Eve, the rise of evil Harry Dredd and his shed of doom. <laughs> but it's not about me, um, it's not about me, I'm just the mouthpiece. Uh, it's all about you, Terry. So if I can please have the box, uh, kind gentlemen, thank you very much. And I will extract from the box so I can put it in private place. The hat. <laughs> I have waffled on far too much, <laughs> and so I think we ought to turn to the book right now, and we will rattle our way through. Um, is there another copy for me? 